Hello, and welcome to the fourth edition of Mr. Wilson's Media Literacy Podcast, Personal Interpretation and Target Audience. Today we will discuss the third and fourth core concepts of media literacy, which you will also write down in your blog post. The third core concept is this. Different people experience the same media message differently. I'll say that again. Different people experience the same media message differently. This one is fairly easy to understand, but it is also one that most people don't think about very much. It's part of human nature. We often assume people will see things the same way that we do. So we are often surprised when something that we find beautiful isn't beautiful to everyone else. But we can substitute beautiful with any adjective. We are often surprised when something we find funny isn't funny to everyone else. We are often surprised when something that we find insane isn't insane to everyone else. And we are often surprised when something that we find annoying isn't annoying to everyone else. If we see a cartoon that we consider offensive, we are outraged when others don't see it the same way. But of course, not everyone will agree. When different people see the exact same thing, they see it differently. One easy way to simplify this is to think about the media you enjoy versus the media your parents enjoy, usually pretty different. In fact, it is a fascinating aspect of media that throughout history there has been conflict between younger and older generations and the media they enjoy. My mother used to yell at me for playing that horrible noise I call music, yet her parents used to be concerned about her listening to swing dance music because it was so primitive and brought out our base instincts. It is almost comical to think about how dangerous older people found Elvis Presley when he first became popular and how tame both he and his music seem now. And way back in 1913, there were actually riots when the classical composer Igor Stravinsky's Rite of Spring was debuted. The music that caused those riots is the music playing in the background right now. Novels used to be considered a dangerous waste of time. Many felt that those who could read should read serious works of history, philosophy, and other branches of learning. A made-up story that wasn't real? What a trivial waste of time. And some of the stories had some scandalous subject matter. Now, of course, literature is considered one of the highest art forms and is a serious topic of study. And many novels that were considered scandalous in their time are now studied in schools. Most media has gone through this trajectory from theater and film to television and graphic novels. The main thing to remember here is that we bring our own personal interpretation to all the media we consume. And that is why we will also deal with the fourth core concept of media literacy in this podcast as well. It is this. All media is created with a target audience in mind. I'll say that again. All media is created with a target audience in mind. If we were to create a TV advertisement for skateboard wheels, say, we would probably include imagery of radical sports and loud, fast music with fast cuts and a young person recording the voiceover. If you're looking to shred some gnarly 360s and grind some serious rail, you can't do better than extreme skateboard wheels, the wheels endorsed by the rap metal band X Factor. Rock it, dude! Imagine those same techniques used to advertise denture cream. If you're looking to shred some corn on the cob or bite into a gnarly Granny Smith apple, you can't do better than Extreme Denture Cream, the cream endorsed by rap metal band X Factor. Rock it, dude! Now, imagine all the upset, confused, and frightened older people whose enjoyment of Matlock was just ruined. I don't think they will be rushing out to buy any Extreme Denture Cream anytime too soon. Now, for your blog post, I would like you to link to two examples of media with two very different target audiences and describe who you think the target audience is for your two examples of media. It could be an advertisement, 
but it could also be a website, a video, a news story, a song, a magazine. I want you to analyze that media in detail while you explain how the different words, sounds, and images are manipulated to appeal to the specific target audience you have identified. That's it for now. I'll talk to you next time on the fifth edition of Mr. Wilson's Media Literacy Podcast.